Okay, so after having our base camp, tried base camp here for a few months, I thought I'd, and putting a few thousand miles on it, I thought I'd kind of give some thoughts. First of all, um, we've really enjoyed having this. We've gotten out quite a bit, um, so that right there's a big bonus. Um, for those of you that have seen any of my other videos, I have a casita right next here, and um, I mean, it's super comfortable and everything, but the problem with that is it just couldn't go a lot of places where we wanted to go. You see all these, you know, it's all held together with rivets, and it just, you get on anything kind of rough, and it would just start popping. So a um, couple things, I'll just try to make this relatively quick. Um, the Alpha Tent um, is is awesome. Um, good padding, sleeps well, uh, plenty of room for me and my wife. We haven't really used the awning all that much yet, primarily just... Um, because so far the places we've been, we've had trees and shade and, or it's been raining, so we haven't really needed it. But uh, this coming spring, it should get some use. Um, so this is this fully articulating hitch. Um, this is weird. It kind of, it took me a while to, to kind of get used to it. I, I, at first when we were hooking up, I had to have like my wife do this. And then I realized you could actually, um, with the hitch, it's like that C clamp and you could get it lined up and just back in and it would actually just do that and slide right over. So that was nice. Um, you know, this twists this way um this is this like comp compression thing so if you're off off-roading or whatever it kind of dampens there's a spring in here that kind of dampens the the push of the trailer um love these um levelers that it's got one one issue that i do have is i kind of wish that the um jack stand would have been placed on the interior um in here because it it decreases your turning angle and um Kind of right when we got it i did that so um that's it but uh so got um you know your propane storage um storage for some jerry cans the funny thing is um when we picked it up i thought this thing was going to be like a joke i'm like what is what's the point of this thing um we use this all the time it's just hooked up to your 17 gallon water tank a little hand pump um last trip it broke um i'm not going to complain to tribe because if sean from tribes watching this video he'll he'll realize who i am by the end of it um i've kind of had a few complaints they've been great that's what i will say their customer service has been great but you know for what i paid for it i wanted to to make sure we took care of some of the issues but these aren't too expensive so i'll either try to fix it or see if i can find something a little sturdier um i do love the the power center and everything we did get a, a uh solar panel because we, we got a fridge now so just to make sure we have that so one of the complaints i have and i think that um, people should keep an eye out for when they're buying these i don't blame tribe for this at all i think it was actually the dealership um up here these gaskets were creased and when it rained we were getting water leaking in and it looked like something had been closed in the door and just pressed them in um so tribe i mentioned that they sent us some gasket my wife and i replaced it um we still have a little bit of leaking, but I think that's more of mine trying to just figure out the right tension on this to make sure that I'm compressing the gasket to the right amount. Um, so here's some lights and things. There's lights all over the place on this thing. Um, all, you know, all these guys, there's storage with various drawers and stuff, and I'm already going to pull those out. Um, there's plenty of stuff online. You can look at that. Um, really like the tires and... Um, with that suspension and that hitch, you can go through some pretty, I don't do crazy off-road or anything, but you can go through some pretty good ruts that you'll fill in the truck. And when this goes through them, you really just don't even notice um, back through there. Um, the, I don't know, flat pack box or whatever the heck they want to call it. Um, this is really the one piece of um, storage that I struggle with the most because a lot of my stuff seems to just not quite fit, but we managed to find a few things that we can we can put in there and, and it does seem to work um i will say all the storage you know in the boxes and everything once you figure out what fits where and where to put it it is awesome and it's just so fast to pack and get going um so spend a little bit of time so here at the back this is we got a fan there's an extraction fan on this guy and this is where um you know you can store coolers or whatever i will mention don't make the same mistake my wife and i made we were we were measuring um just right here we have i have a um a pelican um cooler and we were measuring just this to see if our pelican would fit into these trailers we looked at a few different models and it fit there but when we came and tried to put it in the pelican is 
narrower at the bottom than it is at the top. So when we tried to close it, we were actually hitting right here. We have since actually um, switched over to an Iceco uh, 12 volt fridge, which I'm like, I should have done that way earlier. That's awesome. Um, you just, you know, you plug it in here. I will say that was the reason we also got the solar panel because when you plug this in, if this is in the sun, this is all metal. It, it heats up a lot so your your compressor this box gets warm your compressor will be running a lot more and then you run the extraction fan to try to cool it so you do i'm a little paranoid and i don't want the battery to die so um with 120 watt solar panel in that battery um, we haven't had any problems but um again uh, you got 12 volt i might swap some of these out for um, an anderson or something a little more secure because sometimes these can kind of jiggle loose um, all the fans and then the one one thing that um, for the solar connection, they do give you the the adapter, but um, well, anyways, this is I think it's called an aviation two pin adapter. Um, I would have preferred if it had just been like an Anderson plug or something like that. Um, but anyways, um, you know all these door, all these drawers slide out and lock out and everything. Um, it's with the twelve volt fridge. This is this is just awesome. So um, eventually, we might get a bike rack put here on the back, um, and then. You know, we've got our recovery points and, and all that stuff. Um, again, so more storage. Um, one other thing that I kind of had an issue with, and I saw a video recently, and it looks like Tribe may have changed this on newer models. So if so, um, good, for, good for anybody that gets that one. Um, so this is the stove that came in mine. And um, it's got, like, it had these plastic little covers for, like, the hinge and down here where these came in like these are my first time using it it um melted melted these i mean the stove not my favorite anyways they these kinds i don't know there's just not enough precision to them i mean they're good for boiling water but um if i'm actually doing cooking i have a, a different uh camp stove that has a lot more precision that i use um quick connects on the water 12 volt pump is kind of under here um, all that works great we've got um, inverter plug over here and the pump switch and light switch um, so like i mentioned th this is one of the we replaced this one was pinched in like quite a bit and then the thing is you can see down there the the door um which actually maybe is a good thing maybe not um it catches the water so as long as you get out here fast enough the water will actually go down into mo and most of the doors are like this they have this deeper well so you can get down here and you can get it cleaned up before it actually goes into the cabinets or getting anything in there um one thing i did notice and uh when we were cleaning up was there was like little pieces of metal shavings and things like that and you know just kind of some little stuff that was left over from the manufacturing process and be little bits of rust and stuff. I mean, not too big of a deal, but kind of like I mentioned, I was, you know, for what I paid, I was nitpicky quite a bit. Um, one of the other things too, is if you're looking at buying these, be sure um, to check. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. So the tent, um, this was like this when we got it. So there's this damage here. And then, um, that's gonna sh if this is the right one or can show on some of these rivets um it went and it uh i don't think that's the one i think it's on the front it where rivet it had like a hairline crack that was just kind of extending out from this so um like i said they've been they've been um you know sometimes they're out doing stuff i think it's a small operation so but they every time i've contacted them they've responded in a fairly timely manner um and taken care of everything they took care of um the uh the gaskets and all that and answered some questions i have and stuff um overall um you know we've been we've been extremely happy with it we put a few thousand miles on it um already um a lot of that on highways getting to where we're going but it uh, handles great on forest service roads gravel roads um some rutted out washboardy stuff we like i said we haven't and we probably never will be like crazy rock crawlers so in reality this this level of articulation is probably way more than we need but we have been a few spots where you know you'll go down and the truck will kind of go one way and the trailer's still up above so it's good to have that especially that rotation i guess because um there was a there's one spot where i went down and i I think if I'd have probably had the casita, I'm almost positive it would roll. A couple comparisons. Um, mostly, I mean, the height is almost the same by the time you add the tent and everything in. But um, I actually think that 
the base camp weighs more than the casita. And um, that's one thing to uh, note too is had some people see this and go like, oh, I could haul that with my with my cross trek or whatever. And you look at it and it's tiny and you think you might be able to, but um, it, the, the thing is heavy. It, it um, I think the GVWR is 3,300 3, pounds or something. So you definitely feel it. We tow, tow it with a Tacoma. Um, it tows better than that. So you can actually tow pretty good when you're climbing is when you really feel it. And it, it definitely impacts your mileage. Um, but from a ride perspective, I'd rather tow uh, the base camp than the Casita. The Casita has that, even with a sway control bar, it has some, some movements and some rocking and porpoising. Whereas this, I just took up, you know, just this, this, um, hitch here and, um, we tow it. We don't have any problems at all. Um, what, what else, what else? I think that might be it. So, um, I may, you know, if we're out camping or whatever, I may show some, some other stuff every now and then. I do like, so here's, here's where you fill up your water tank, um, 17 gallon. I do like that that's got a lock and everything. Um, I'm going to have to drain that and probably put some, um, winter, some winterize the pump. This is where, um, you can charge from shore power. If you're someplace where you can plug in and charge shore power to get this, this system all charged up. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's, that's kind of it. And like I said, we've been, we've been super happy with it. Um, I've been really happy with, um, with Tribe's customer service and everything too. It's just, you know, we're spending that much on it, brand new and everything. We were, we were wanting to, um, to make sure that we got everything taken care of. One thing for Tribe though, that I, that I would like to see is a maintenance manual or something like that. Like how often how often you know should we be greasing these zerks here on this and then when you get down under here with this suspension which this is a better view of it which is which is just awesome um you can see some well, maybe you can there's some other uh grease zerks and things like that so just um kind of a maintenance guide would be would be nice um for those of us that want to do our own maintenance because i i don't live anywhere remotely close to a shop uh, that I that I could have do this and to be honest I'm not sure I'd trust the people I bought it from we we seems to know more about it than than they did when when we were looking at it and picking it up but for for anybody looking at something like this um, you know we've we've been extremely happy with it um, it's gotten us out a, a lot more so um, definitely definitely worth looking at and uh, if you have any, if you want to see the cooler um, that I tried to fit in there in the back, I think I have a, a review of that. So um, didn't quite fit. Great cooler, but didn't quite fit. And then the um, fridge we got, I so far I went the Iceco uh, 45, and and so far I've been pretty happy with that. It um, it draws a little more power when it's running than I thought initially, but it averages out pretty good. Eventually I'll probably do a review of that, but. I think I think that is it. Um, if you have any specific questions, feel free to ask, and I'll I'll see if I can get some answers. Thanks.